Good evening to our viewers in the West. And there is breaking news as we come on the air. A new report tonight accuses President Trump of compromising national security to advance his personal political interests by trying to pressure Ukraine to interfere in the 2020 election. The report also accuses key administration officials of being involved in the scheme. This now sets up the next phase of the impeachment inquiry hearings before the House Judiciary Committee that begin tomorrow. Nancy Cordes is at the Capitol tonight, and Nancy, at 300 pages, there's a lot in this report. Nora, the report essentially lays out the evidence for impeachment, and the Intelligence Committee, which did the digging, just voted tonight to release those findings to the Judiciary Committee, which historically has handled the drafting of articles of impeachment. The report is based on two months of depositions and hearings involving 17 witnesses. The testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The key finding is this, that President Trump used the power of his office to apply increasing pressure on the president of Ukraine to investigate a campaign rival, Joe Biden. Everyone was in the loop. The report lays out evidence that a slate of top officials, including the Secretary of State, Secretary of Energy, and acting White House Chief of Staff, had knowledge of, and in some cases facilitated, and furthered the president's scheme. We do that all the time. The report also makes the case that Mr. Trump tried to conceal his conduct from the public, defying subpoenas and intimidating witnesses. House Intelligence Chairman Adam Schiff. I think what we have produced uh, in, in remarkable short order uh, is so overwhelming that it ought to be presented to the Judiciary Committee now. Cell phone data shows the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, made multiple calls to many of the key players, but so far there is no record of a September call between President Trump and U.S. Ambassador Gordon Sondland, right in which the so president claims he no said this. I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. Do the phone records cast doubt on anything you heard from the witnesses or anything the president has said publicly? The phone records are remarkably consistent with the coordination of a lot of this scheme. The president yes, weighed in today to from London. When this is a total fix. You know what a fix is? is a fix. The report's authors write that it is hard to imagine a stronger or more complete case of obstruction of justice. Republicans on the Intelligence Committee looked at the same evidence, Nora, and they rejected a lot of it as hearsay or conjecture. All right, Nancy, thank you. And CBS News will have live coverage of the first House Judiciary hearing on impeachment. Tune into our special report that begins tomorrow morning at 7 Pacific time.